Greetings everyone, welcome back to another video. For those of you that know me or follow me on Instagram might know that I've got a new bike. For those of you who don't, here is my new bike. This is my 2021 custom built Santa Cruz Mega Tower and here's my bike check. Let's get into it. So starting with the frame, this is the Santa Cruz Mega Tower. It's the CC model, which is the highest spec carbon that they do. And this is in a double XL, because I am pretty tall, I'm about six foot five. So this bike actually fits me really well. It's in the storm gray colorway with the uh, tan decals, which look pretty cool. Um, I've Invisi framed this from new to protect that nice paintwork and the carbon fiber frame. Rockets and Rascals decal on there. I'm currently running it in the high setting on the short wheelbase. Um, don't need it to be any lower and slacker for the trails we've got around here. Yeah, it's running mint at the moment. Really liking it so far. So off the shelf, this bike comes spec'd. 160 front, 160 rear. It's a 29er. As this is a custom build, I've decided to change that slightly. So I'm running a 170 mil fork on the front with the 160 on the back. Running Fox factory suspension. I've got the Fox 36 on the front and the X2 on the back. Um, so far, really liking it. Originally, I wanted to get the coil shock on the back, but it was sold out and wasn't available. Um, so I decided to go for the air for the time being with the thought of upgrading to the coil in the future maybe. But so far, this shock has been amazing. Um, it performs really well and uh, actually acts pretty similar to a coil shock really. Um, it's such a big volume there and there's so much adjustability on it. Yeah, it's been working really good for me so far. So on the drive train, I've decided to go for Shimano XT 12 speed. Shimano is known for being pretty reliable and uh, having that good solid shift in. So I decided to go for that. Went for the XT just to keep the weight down over the SLX. And on the front there, I've decided to go for an absolute black oval chain ring with the absolute black oval chain guide. Uh, reason for that is I had one on my old bike and I really liked it. Like the way the oval performs, how you don't get that dead spot when you're pedaling and it helps with climbing, I find. So yeah, really liking that. Pedals, I'm going for the Hope F20 flat pedals in the anodized orange, going with my color scheme. And then I've put these little orange race face crank boots on just to protect the ends of my cranks. So for the wheels, I was a bit undecided what to go for. I was looking at hunts originally and then I did consider getting reserves. I still wasn't sure if I wanted to go carbon on the wheels. So I decided to go for Hopes, keeping with the Hope brakes and the headset and all the other little Hope bits I've got, keeping with the colour scheme. So I decided to go for the Hope Fortis 30s with the Pro 4 hubs in anodized orange. These wheels are known for being pretty bomb proof. So yeah, decided to go for them. I think it was a pretty good good decision really. They've held up really well so far. I've ridden some rough places and uh, yeah, they're still running straight. Tires, I'm running Maxxis Asagai tires on there. Greg Minar's signature tire. Front and rear, I'm running them in the DH casing just because I've got some big trips away planned soon. Some pretty rough places. So I want a tire that can hold up on that. And inside there, I'm running the Tannis tire inserts just to protect my rims a bit. And uh, I'm running orange seal tubeless sealant and muck off orange valves. So another reason I decided to go for the Hope wheels, I just really like the sound of the hubs. Um, they're not super high engagement, like some of like the i9s or the Halos or something like that. But they've got a really nice buzz to them. It's not like a whiny buzz like some of those really high engagement points. This is a nice sort of low buzz. You know, it sounds really good out on the trails. It lets people know that you're coming. So from a cockpit, 
running the uh, Bergtech setup there. Got the Ratboy signature bars, ride highs, the 38 mil rise. Didn't decide to go for the bigger ones. I thought these would be big enough. Try them for now. And uh, yeah, really liking the feel of them at the moment. Running the DMR Defy stem and a 35 mil. Got this stem on my jump bike and I really liked it. And it's got quite a low, nice low stack height. And I just like the shape. So I thought I'd stick that on here. Bergtech Bartender Pro, Greg Minar signature grips in the tan color. Trying to tie it in with the tan decals there. I think they look pretty cool. Hope headset in orange. One carbon spacer under there. Got my XT shifter. So brakes wise, I decided to go for Hopes. I like a brake with a lot of modulation. Um, these have got the bite point adjuster and the reach adjustment on there. Um, yeah, and I just really like the feel of these. They're nice and powerful still. And they match my colour scheme. Got the floating rotors there in orange in a 203 mil. It's a nice and big, big and powerful to stop these big wheels on this big bike. Uh, great for downhill days at the bike parks. Yeah, loving them. Got the Syncross direct mount mudguard on here. That bolts straight into the back of these Fox 36s. These are the 2020 36s, so they've got the more sort of square shaped crown rather than the newer ones with the round step cast crown, which uses Fox's own mudguard. But Syncross developed this one, and uh, yeah, it just bolts straight in the back there. Keeps it really neat. Don't have little cable ties and stuff rubbing on your forks. And it keeps the dirt out your face. Proper job. So for hydration, I've decided to go for the PE's Fidlock water bottle. I never really liked the look of bottle cages on bikes and I've never ran a water bottle on my full sus before. Um, I've always ridden with a bag, but I'm trying to move away from riding with a bag. So you need to be able to carry that water with you when you're out riding. Um, a few of my friends have got these Fidlock bottles and they really rate them. And um, yeah, so far, so good. I've not lost the bottle on any trails, ridden down some pretty rough ones and uh, yeah, it's held up. Did all the trails at Bike Park Wales and it didn't come off at all. Uh, magnets are pretty strong. Love the way it just like clips in like that. Super easy when you're riding, just twist it off, have your drink, pop it back on on the move. No need to try and locate it into a bottle cage or anything like that. So yeah, it works really well. Really liking that at the moment. Seat post wise, I've gone for the one up 210 mil dropper post. Decided to go for this dropper because it's got one of the lowest stack heights on there. So it allowed me to slam it into the frame uh, but still get a reasonable pedal height with it fully extended. So I can drop that seat nice and low when I'm going downhill or hitting some jumps. But then yeah, I can still get up to a good pedal height for the trails. Running that with the wolf tooth uh, dropper lever. Looks pretty cool, got this cool little graphic on there. Really nice smooth feel to it. And it, uh, it's got this direct mount, little matchmaker thing into the uh, hope brakes. So that's really neat. Keeps the cockpit clean, don't have loads of clamps. Yeah, works really well. For the seat, I'm running the SDG Radar. The main reason I chose this seat was the color, just to go with the other orange bits. It's got these little orange highlights on there, the orange stitching and the orange underside there. But um, it's actually really comfortable. It took me a little while to get into the right position. I had a sore bum after the first few rides, but yeah, I managed to get it dialed now and it's really comfortable. It's also got this little cutout, which is really good for running it with the 29er. So when I've got my seat down, I've got that tire clearance on there as well. So yeah, this bike really is a dream build. I'm super lucky to have been able to put it all together. Massive shout out to uh, Rockets and Rascals. So I had this bike now probably about two months. Been putting it through its paces a little bit. I've uh, been to Bike Park Wales, Windhill Bike Park, uh, my local P-Town Woods, um, a few other local spots on it. And uh, yeah, it's been performing really well. Absolutely loving the bike, it rides really well. I feel like it's made me faster riding the 29er. It just rolls over everything. Uh, it's a bike that actually fits me as well. Like my old white, it was a great bike, but uh, yeah, it was only a large. Like I'm a pretty tall rider. 
Um, so yeah, it was a little bit small for me, whereas this bike actually feels like it fits. And um, yeah, can't wait to smash out some more trails on it. We've got a trip coming up uh, this weekend, heading up to Scotland. I'm gonna go ride the Fort William downhill track. So that's gonna be a proper test for this beast, riding the World Cup downhill track. It's gonna be awesome. Uh, absolutely insane, I can't wait for that. Um, so yeah, I'm sure there'll be some videos coming from there. And then on the way back, we're gonna be hitting up Revolution Bike Park and Duffy Bike Park. Two super gnarly places where, yeah, it's really gonna put this bike and me for our paces. Um, but yeah, super looking forward to it. It's gonna be rad, can't wait. Thanks for watching. I know it's only been short and sweet, but yeah, that's my bike check. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, like and subscribe and I'll see you in another video soon.